Hello everyone. So let's do an example on transformer in this video. So transformer is based on Faraday's law of induction. Faraday's law says if you have a change in magnetic flux, then the induced EMF is going to be equal to the rate of change of magnetic flux. which is d phi b dt and of course the direction would be resistant to the change of magnetic flux we have this negative sign and your induced emf would equals to negative d phi b dt that's farthest law for one single loop if you have multiple loops of wire give you a coil then the induced emf is given by negative n d phi b dt and this is how a transformer should work so you can construct transformer in such a way that the secondary coil put into primary coil they will have the same magnetic flux or they can connect it by a metal the magnetic flux is exactly the same through this metal and then we have the P should be equal m v p d phi p dt and v s is negative n s d by b dt and as we said d by b dt and d by b dt at those two coils should have be the same so we can immediately figure out now this and this are the same so we can immediately find out vp over vs equals np over ns and also for ideal transformer, we assume there is no energy loss. So the power on this side is given by Vp Ip, power on this side given by Vs Is. P, P, and this should be equal. We can call it P in and P out. Right? So P in should equal to P out. But I already found out what is v p over v s right v p over v s is n p over n s so i p over i s is n s over n p so in total we have this transformer relation how current and the potential in the primary coil and the secondary coil related through NP and NS. So actually this you can break this down to two equations. Uh, the one we already have in this size, you can also have IS over IP equals NP over NS. You can have these two equations. Now let's do one example to understand. So we have a transformer connect to a 120 volt root mean square potential and the supply to a 12 volt electronic device. The resistance of the device is 5 ohm. What should be the ratio of primary to secondary turns of the transformer? We should use NP over NS, and we already have VP, VS. My VAP is 120, my VS is 12, so the ratio is 10. What would be the current of the secondary supply?
Now I already know Vs is 12 volts. So I should have Is equals to Vs over the resistor of the device connecting to my secondary coil. So it's 12 over 5 and here's 2.4 amps. Next question, what average power is the device consuming delivered to the load? So power, average power should be given by root mean square current times R. And I know this is 2.4. My R is 5, the unit is 12. Give me 28.8 watt. And then if I don't connect this transformer but directly connect the resistor to the primary power supply, what will be the resistance I should have? I have the same power. So I want V primary over R. Let's also call it the primary equals to 28.8 watt and solve for the resistance so it's the p square and the vp is 120 28.8 uh, watt which should give me 500 omega so if I connect a 500 omega directly to the 120 volt it will give me the same power as if I connect 5 omega to the 12 volt secondary coil so hope this example is also helpful for your understanding of how transformers work I will see you